Hello everybody. I'm Dr. Russell Barkley and I'm a professor of psychiatry at the VCU Medical Center here in lovely Richmond, Virginia. I want to take just a few moments to introduce you to my latest book, The Twelve Principles for Raising a Child with ADHD, uh, and give you some insight into its contents. Now, I wrote this book for a very simple reason. I'm getting toward the end of my career, not to mention my life, and I looked back and I thought, what have we learned over the 44 years that I've been in practice, that I've done research, as well as the fact that I review all research published in the world's journals every week for the latest information that pertains to understanding and managing children and adults with ADHD. So what have I learned from all of that? Can, can we reduce this down to some essential ideas? And that's what gave me the motivation to write this book. I was able to identify what I thought were 12 essential ideas that every parent needs to know in understanding and raising a child or a teen with ADHD. Time doesn't permit me to go through all of them here today, but I'll just mention a few things. One is that some of the principles deal with parents changing their mental framework, their attitude, their stance toward their child's ADHD. So, for instance, understanding that ADHD is a neurodevelopmental disorder that has strong genetic and otherwise biological causes that underlie it is a very important idea when it comes to what kind of parent should we be for this child. So, for instance, it leads us to understand that your child's executive age, that is their age of self-regulation, is about 30% behind that of other children. And if you'll understand that and you use it to subtract that 30% from their age, you'll understand why you need to reduce your expectations, provide more help and structure and assistance to them, and basically cut down the conflicts that you have with them because now you know where they're coming from. The average 10-year-old with ADHD is a lot like a child of seven when it comes to their ability to regulate and manage their own behavior. And there's a lot of important ideas that flow from just that change in your perspective. Now, another part of the book deals with principles that involve changing management methods or our tactics, the way we approach a child with ADHD. And one of them is understanding that ADHD is not information deficit disorder. Children with ADHD know pretty much what other kids know. The deficit that ADHD produces is that they can't use that information at key places in their life where it would have been wise to do so. So ADHD is a performance problem, not a knowledge problem. What does that mean for you as a parent? It means to talk less touch more and focus more on helping your child perform what they know rather than continuing to talk and reason and natter and nag and explain and provide all this background information as if our children were stupid because they're not right they need help with using the knowledge they have so when i talk about touching more and talking less it's something like if you have something to say to your child you go to them. You don't yell up a flight of stairs. You touch them affectionately on their arm or their shoulder, or even put your arm around them. You make eye contact with them because it helps them to understand the importance of the interaction, and it makes it personal. And then you very briefly explain what you want to say, whether it's approval, recognition, an instruction, or even a mild reprimand. It will have far more of an impact on your child if you follow those particular guidelines. So I hope you can see that there's a lot of rich information in this book about the essential ideas parents need to know in order to raise a child or teen with ADHD. I hope you'll take the time to peruse it when it becomes available to you. Uh, and I thank you for taking the time to view this video. Thanks, take care, and be well.